Good afternoon everybody. Well here is the spoon carving set all finished. Uh, handle material, it's all dry. Sealer's dry. Everything's sharp. And it is ready to go to its new home here within the next couple of days. If you can get a good look at that. And smooth out. I think it turned out pretty nice. There's the small one, the small hook. And the crooked knife to reach in there that way if you got a wider spoon, maybe, or something. Little gouge to get things started with. Now that'll be going out here. Next time I go to the post office here in a couple of days. Now another project I'm about to start. There is a sharp finger, just like the one I showed the other day. That one's um already been delivered. Now this knife here. Uh, by the way, this is a old sawmill blade. I think this thing was. 24 inches across or something. It was big when I got it. I got it in the trade. This is um, standard skin enough. For my YouTube people, uh, YouTube friends, y'all know, most everybody knows, Tommy over at Alderman Farms had a, um, had a bad thing happen to him a while back. Had a dog attack. His dog attacked him and uh, thank God he's okay. He's not not hurt. Ain't you know too bad. I mean bad enough, but I mean I don't know Tommy personally, but I do watch his channel. And brother, I'm glad you're doing better. Um, and I know I know something about medical bills. If y'all could see my bill for some open heart surgery was in June. If you could see that bill, you'd probably have another heart attack like I did. So, and before that I had a pacemaker and defibrillator put in and I'm still having to deal with that thing. That bill was just stupid high. And I uh, thank goodness for good insurance and good retirement plan but it still it don't cover everything. So um, what we're gonna do over on um, Big Bear Homestead uh, Jason is auctioning off starting an auction so we can uh, try to help them over at Alderman Farms. And uh, I'm going to build this sharp finger. And we'll start on it today. And it'll take me a day or two because I've got a, another big project going also. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to put this in the auction. So when this is finished, I'll show you a final finished picture of it. And y'all go over to Big Bear. I don't know if it's where the auction site's going to be. I think it's on his website. But I'll talk to him later tonight and we'll see exactly where it's at. But it'll be there. Now that knife normally retails for $65. Um, standard price knife and sheath. And um, you know, if I add ferrule rod and that kind of stuff to it, it goes up a little bit. But on the auction, I've told Jason, I said start it wherever you want to. Get what you can for it. And anything, whatever, whatever we get for it, goes to Alderman Farms. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on that here in just a few minutes. And y'all heard me fussing about the cold weather. Still got my jacket on. It's still in the mid 50s. Stop laughing. I'm stop laughing. But, uh, <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be at 70 tomorrow, and then up in the mid 70s all the rest of the week. Lows in the 50s and 40s. So as much as I fuss about the cold, I don't really mind the cold. But um, it's going to be good working weather for the rest of the week. And I am going to get back on the outdoor kitchen here in a few days. I've got some more um, materials scrounged up to work out there a little bit. Now from this point on, except for the smoker, I'll probably just go ahead and do the work and then show you when I get done because it's just not not a big deal to it 
but I will go through the smoker a little bit more as I go on with it. And what else was I going to say? Oh, if you got to order, if you want to order something, please do it quickly. Because the 20th, 20th through the 27th, I will be in the woods. Me and Master Sergeant are going on our yearly uh, deer hunt slash hog hunt. And I've got plenty of deer meat already for this year, so um, I'm concentrating on hogs. He's concentrating on deer. But not to say if it's the legal deer walks out in front of me, I'll, yeah, I'll take it because we can always use the meat. But um, and y'all hear more about that as, as it gets closer. And of course, I'll take the camera with me. Uh, my son Joseph, the youngest son, got me one of those fancy head mount straps for my GoPro, like I used up in Ohio. He got me one of those, so. Maybe I can film a little bit easier. And I think I can rig it and make a chest mount out of it where I can show walking around. Real interesting place we're going. Uh, it's here local. It's not real far away. so. But uh, that'll be a fun trip. And what else was I going to say for today? Uh, I might show you some. Let me get this cut out and get it ready to forge. And I'll show you what it looks like here in just a few minutes. I'll just give you a quick picture of it at the end of the video. And with all that said, y'all go check out Big Bear. Check out the um, his website. Uh, the auction. A lot of people are putting things up, for what I understand. Uh, might be something really interesting going on with Jason and his beard. <laughs> that was talked about the other night. That's... I didn't get to listen to all of it, but I got to listen to some of it, so that'll be that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and don't worry, Jason, I won't laugh at you. Not not too loud, anyway. But <laughs> all right, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll show you some pictures in a minute. <laughs> camera all right there is the sharp finger for the auction now that's a rough grind very rough I'll take it inside, put it on the belt grinder, get it all evened up, and I'll select the handle material. And well, first I gotta anneal it. This is some of that old ancient steel. It's a uh, very, very, very hard. See, I got one hole drilled, and it won't drill. I'm about to anneal this, let it cool overnight, and I'll get back to it tomorrow. But everybody head over to um, Big Bear's website. I'll find the link and put it in there for you. Well, everybody knows Big Bear. I think everybody does. Y'all know them Marines. They, uh, everybody knows Marines, so, yeah. <laughs> I love Resin, Jason. Good guy. And Jason, uh, you and Miss Robin, thank y'all very much for doing this. And we'll uh, we'll see if we can't get um get them fixed up over there. A lot of these things that I see, if everybody watching would donate five dollars, what's five dollars? That's lunch. Maybe can you get lunch for five dollars in town anymore? I don't know. I don't go to town much. I don't know. But everybody that sees my video, his video, somebody else's video, just participate in the auction.
try to bid on one of these items, mine, <coughs> pardon me, mine, or uh, whatever else anybody else puts up, bid on them, and if you don't win, send $5, and that'll be a tremendous help for these folks, because we all need help, and what is YouTube for? It's to learn, it's to help our neighbors, to help our families, our adopted families, and before I get too emotional with all that, <laughs> I'll hush. And oh, I got another big announcement to make. Uh, my daughter, y'all know, my oldest daughter, is expecting her third child, and we found out today it's a boy. Anyway, we would have been more than happy either way. Didn't matter to me, but uh, but that's cool. Another grandson. <laughs> All right, I'm getting tired. It's getting cold out here again. It's back to the low 50s again. So low 50s means I go in the house and I get warm. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe next day.